They do it today. Oh. Most of them do it. <laughs> they bathe. They brush their teeth. They comb their hair. Why? Because when they were little, they said, okay, this is what we do. We brush our teeth. We comb our hair. You know, we, we take a shower. See, when I was baby, when I was a child, see, I was drugged. My mom drugged me to church. My dad drugged me to church. My dad made sure I didn't miss church. Hey, I was, you know, you can say it's a drug baby. Hey, I was the drug baby. I'm come on, you're coming to church. Could that be a reason why God called me to preach? Why now God has put me in charge of the youth department? Hey, be in church, mom and dad. If it's good for them, it's good for you. And again, you know, we'll help you with anything we can do. How about the manners of Christ-like actions? Living like a Christian. Talking like a Christian. Being a Christian example. Hey, mom and dad, someone, they're watching you. Right? This is a challenge. But mom and dad, they're watching you. They see what you do when you're at home and it's just the family. They pick up on those things. Be aggressive. Three, we need a stone of courage. We need a stone of courage. We need parents just to say, you know what? I don't care if you like me. I don't care if you hate me. This is what it is. This is how it's going to be. Again, when I was growing up, not saying 15, 14, 15, 16, like the other lady said, man, I hated my parents. I hated them. Of course, I wasn't saved. That was probably the reason why I hated them. But you know what? Courage. Daughter, you're not going to dress that way. Son, you're not going to talk that way. Courage. Be, stay, be proactive. Be proactive. And that's not the acronym to say we bring the company. That's not what I'm talking about, okay? Be proactive. Hey, don't wait till they're in trouble to get involved. That's why we're having meetings. That's why we're having dinners. That's why we're having, you know, meetings on Sunday night after church sometimes. Why? Because we're not going to wait until they're in trouble. So then we say, okay, now what do we do? No, you know, we're going to try to start it now so that way they don't get into trouble. Why are they falling into sin? Why are they falling away from church? Well, I don't know. Now it's time to step in and do something. Hey, it's beyond the time to start stepping in and doing something. Now is the time. Hey, be proactive. Get involved. Show up to as many things as you can. Show up to the sport game. Show up to the team choir singing. Show up to church. Be proactive. We got an attitude. Well, you know, we're going to do what we're going to do. And I've seen people do that. And I've seen where that takes them. Be protective. Be protective. Uh, Mr. McGuire, my dad would not let me be friends with this person. I told uh, my speech class story. I remember the same girl that liked me in high school? Okay. That girl made a big mistake one night. She tried to call my house. She tried to call my house at 9.30 at night. 9.30 at night, this chick tried to call my house. Okay? And she called. I'm like, oh. And I knew it was her call. I'm like, okay, I gotta run to the phone. And I reached out for the receiver. Back when there was something called landline, okay? And then my dad grabbed her and said, oh man, not my dad, at least my mom, not my dad. But again, you know how I'm closer, I'm closer to my dad today than I am my mom. I love my mom. I'm not closer to my dad today because of the things he taught me. He got on the phone and he was like, no girl, is that her? You see the flames on the ever going to call my boy. He wants to talk to you, he'll call you. Click. Oh, oh man. You know, this is over. You know, this chick's gonna dump me. I'm in trouble. She's gonna dump me. But you know what my dad was doing? My dad was being protected. He was watching out. My dad did not care if I liked him or loved him. He was protecting me from the dangers of the world. This girl today that liked me in high school, not in church. Baby out of wedlock and bounces around from man to man in South Jersey. I married a godly lady, 
loves the Lord, doing right, helps me. My dad was protected. And whether I liked it or not, he was going to do it. Because it wasn't for his well-being. It was for the sake of the teenager. It was for my good. I thank, again, like the other worker, I, I thank my dad regularly. Thank you, dad, for kicking that girl out of my life. Thank you, dad, for being the man that it took to help me. We need strong dad. Dad, we need you. Dad, you're not being hard enough. Dad, you're not being protective enough. Take it a step further. Take it a step further. If I said tonight there's an enemy, when you leave, there's somebody out in the, the parking lot with a sniper rifle. And we have the dads and the mom, man, just don't get the kid. We protect them. We walk them all the way to the car. We get in the car, we put the suits on that, and we gun it out of the parking lot. But just like there's a sniper outside, there's a spiritual enemy coming for your teenager. And we're just like, okay, hey, you want to go? Want to go to the mall? Sure, go to the mall. Hang out with the mall by yourself? Hang out with the mall by yourself? Hang out with the friend by yourself? Go ahead. We put leashes on our dogs. And sometimes we just let our kids go. Be protected. Be protected. Last thing. We need to have a stone of commitment. We're just going to do it. We're just going to stand. This is where I stand. So when you're, when Daniel is 20 and 30 and 40 years old, he can look back on the stone that his parents had and say, that's where they stood. Hey, if you're trying to move a stone, it's hard. It's not supposed to move. Same thing with us. Hey, we're not supposed to move. What if the children, what if the fourth or fifth generation tried to come back to the place where they had originally put the monument and it wasn't there? What did God do again for them? Stay. Parents, you're doing great. How are you doing wonderful? We're just here to support you. We'll help you stand. We'll give you the resources. We'll give you the music. We'll have the godly atmosphere at the youth group. Hey, we'll have the godly atmosphere at the Christian school. We'll have the godly atmosphere in the church. We need you. Your kid needs you. The stone stood for the next generation. So the next generation will remember the good things that God did. We need you. Let's work together for the sake of the teenager. I'd hate to have a, another dinner this time next year. And, you know, this front row will be wiped out. Listen. I got parents, I'm not telling you what to do. I've laid out biblical principles that you need to put in line to help you. And I'd hate to know one of these teenagers, six people sitting in the front row, you know, had an accident and died. And I hate it even worse to have a dinner this time next year to find out that the adversary came in and devoured. I hate that. What may be these stones? some stones in. Start tonight. Don't wait till tomorrow. Set them up tonight. Maybe you do need to go home and check you know, the little junior's eye touch his iPod. You may need to set up a stone of, you know, let's go through our movies. Let's really make sure these are Christ out. It may mean you need to yank that cell phone away. It may mean you need to do you know the stone you need to say? We love you, parents. We are so thankful you came. We thank you for here. It shows us that you have a desire to see your kid live for God. I'm going to pray. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pray. And if the team choir can come up and sing the theme song again, okay? I'm going to pray. While I'm praying, again, if, 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 if you don't know you're saved, you don't know you're dying today, go ahead. Think about that. Let one of these adults, some of these workers talk to you. You may want to pray with your teenager. Because this isn't 
church time. But you may want to pray with your kids. We're doing everything we can to help them. Maybe you want to just pray by yourself. Hey, God, give me the strength. Thank you.